Hey, Lego fans, it's Andy here. Thanks for taking me along. I do appreciate it as always. Check this out. <laughs> This guy was the unfortunate victim of a train wreck. <laughs> I had left this base plate, this base plate here on the tracks, and I was like, hey, I'm going to run the train. I'm going to film some train action for this video. And then got around to this corner, and I heard all kinds of <laughs> collisions. And I'm like, oh, crap, what did I do? And this thing landed on the floor into a million pieces. So I'm going to have to uh, rebuild that. So <laughs> anyways, check this out, though. Assembly Square is finished. Finally. It took, only took me like, I don't know, three or four days to build the thing. <laughs> it is the biggest modular out of all the modular buildings with over 4,000 pieces. But... Rumor has it that the new modular building coming out in January is going to be even bigger with over 4,000 pieces as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. But um, I know it's a six-year-old building and most of you guys either own it or have seen the insides of it. But uh, for anybody that hasn't, let's take a closer look. All right, so here we are. Look at this guy. All the detail is just amazing with this thing. Got that nice little fountain out front. Got the lamp post, which I'll actually probably take those lamp posts out because I've already got lamp posts down through the front there next to the bike lane. So got a little pretzel shop. Uh, well, more like a bakery, but yeah, they do, they do serve pretzels, obviously on this first floor here. And then we'll take a look at the uh, individual floor since this is, modular obviously so let's see here we remove this roof this looks to me like an apartment because it's got some like toys up on the lego maybe lego sh uh, sets up on the shelves there it's got a little uh microwave little kitchenette there a couch a little area rug i'm not even sure what this stuff on the table is though flowers and and something else but Correct me if I'm wrong, if this is not an apartment, but that's what it looks like to me. This apartment's even got its own little private bathroom right there in the corner. <laughs> and before we take this floor off to look at the underneath floors, take a look at this back patio that's on the roof. Got a couple chairs, cups, some pans hanging there, some kind of a plant. And then over here, we got a big grill <laughs> with a pan sitting on there, some tools hanging. Big outdoor grill on top of the roof. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at this, this uh, third floor over here. This appears to be a ballet dance studio. It's got the uh, little ballet girl there in her tutu. And if we turn this around, we can see the piano there or the music. And then she's got a... Uh, She's got a little mirror there she can look into. Isn't that cool? And then, of course, the stairs going down to the second floor there. And here on the second floor is everybody's favorite place to go, the dentist. <laughs> and it's quite detailed, actually. Look at that with the uh, dentist chair there. There's the dentist standing there, and it's got the little... Looks like an x-ray machine and all the dental tools. There's a dental drill and everything. It's quite detailed. So, But yeah, there we go. Dentist on the second floor. A little waiting room there with a bench. And over here, we have a photography studio. Camera and the photographer there. He's got a big old mustache, if you can see that. <laughs> and there's some stuff on the wall there. And then his, what do you want to call that? His backdrop or whatever for his, uh, for his photography subjects. So that's what's on the second floor on this building. Then if we remove this, this second floor is a, uh, appears to be a music, uh, like a recording studio maybe. It's got a drum set. It's got a saxophone. 
You got two guitars on the wall. I think those guitars are like really cute. I love those things. <laughs> Being a musician myself, that really uh, really appeals to me. I like those things. So yeah, this is like a like a music studio here on the second floor. And if we remove that down here to the first floor, we have. I, I, I'm saying it's it's not a bakery, but it's like a coffee shop maybe. Uh, with pies you can get a piece of pie there on on the couple of the tables and uh, well yeah I mean the front the front has the uh, the little espresso uh, cup with the steam coming off of it or whatever you want to call it so yeah it's got to be like a coffee shop so that's what that is right there and then if we remove these floors get down to the first floor on here we have a bakery as I mentioned croissants cookies donuts all kinds of good stuff there in the bakery and then over here this appears to be a flower shop yeah because it's got those two big roses out front there on the on the uh, above the door and then flowers on the front flowers inside so you got a flower shop there but yeah like i said the amount of detail in this thing is just amazing it is awesome it's huge too. <laughs> it's a huge building. So there we go, guys. Anybody that's never seen Assembly Square on the inside, the details, there you are. Great looking building. Great looking building. It was actually the 10 year anniversary for the modular building series, which started in 2007. This came out in 2017, so that makes sense. So they made a, a really big, nice building for the anniversary. So wonder what we'll see in 2027. <laughs> but I'm excited about what's coming out in 2024 with over 4,000 pieces. Really excited to see that. So there we go. And as promised, after the assembly square was finished, I told you I was going to start on the roller coaster, and that's exactly what I'm doing. There are all my bags. This seems to have the same problem as the assembly square did with so many bags labeled the same numbers, like at least three, four, five bags with the same number. I mean, this doesn't seem to be as bad because each bag doesn't contain as many parts or it contains like all of those same parts. <laughs> so you won't have any problem finding anything. But yeah, I don't know why they do that. I think they should just have more numbers. Like, I mean, instead of 11 bags, have like 20 bags or something so that you don't have to sort through so many parts to find what you're looking for. So then you got all these bags right here with the uh, the uh, plates, the base plates. Well, it doesn't really have a base plate per se, but it has these 16 by 16 plates instead and then all of the uh roller coaster track that doesn't have a bag number at all so but i'm sure that's you know easy to find anyway i've got my first bag parts laid out so i'm getting ready to build the roller coaster got my three mini figs right there to start with that uh, cotton candy is like almost uh, the same size as the little girl <laughs> it's almost as big as she is i thought that was kind of funny Taking another look over here, I was thinking about what if I add some trees, some like of these, these little basic trees like this one. What if I add some of those in like place of the barrier for the bike lane? Like maybe every other, like I don't know, three or four of them put a tree in there. Would that look stupid or would that be uh, intrusive into the bike lane, do you think? Just a tree like that? Because I've thought about doing that. Either that or in place of the lamppost, like a tree every every now and then. Or I could just limit it to trees on this side of the road too, like I've got already. Just kind of an idea I have running through my head, thought, uh, thought we could do something like that. But you tell me, uh, leave, leave me a note in the comments and let me know what you think about that situation. And it looks like we will get some train action in this video, just not from the newest cargo train. <laughs> it's over there. In pieces. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I haven't had a trains running in a while, especially on video. So I thought we'd uh, we'd do that here a little bit to end the video. Let's get the elevated train going too. Here we go, guys. Got both of these guys running. And they're off on a race. All 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I do appreciate you taking me along with you. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash let's talk about Lego. Really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. We'll see you.